Harvest Orchard here in Westminster, Maryland, and we're gonna go to the Apple Orchard and pick some apples. Look where I am today. I am in an apple orchard, and this is an apple tree. Look, see the leaves? Now they have not turned colors yet, but it is fall. But the apples are now ripe. Look closely. Look at that beautiful apple and see how it's stuck all together. Now, to pick an apple, you don't just yank on it. You have to lift up, twist, and pop it off just like that. And it's delicious. Pumpkin really is a gourd. Look at these big orange pumpkins. It's so big, I can hardly even pick it up. Oh. These are way easier to pick up with their stems still on. And look, there's white ones too. Remember, a pumpkin is a gourd. We saw a really big one, we saw a small one, and look at these itty bitty gourds. Some are green and bumpy, some are yellow and beige and white and kind of, wow, look at that, those little lines there. You've got, ooh, look at that, it almost looks like a mini watermelon. And ooh, look at that orange one, it sort of looks like a little pumpkin, but it's really bumpy. And this one's nice and smooth on some edges. So you've got bumpy and smooth and all different sizes. Now remember, pumpkins are, you got it, gourds. But look at these different gourds. They look sort of like pumpkins, but they're all bumpy. But they're still orange. But look over here, look at this one. Oh my goodness, he's really flat, but he's green. And, ooh, look at this one. It looks like a pear, but it's white and it's heavy. Oh my goodness. Look at all these different kinds of gourds. Look at that yellow, yellow one over there. Very cool. Look, I'm a butterfly. You should come visit Boggers in Westminster for so many cool activities. They even have a petting zoo. We just got back from Boggers orchard and we're ready to make ooh, apple pie. So for our apple pie, you'll need apples. Now I use Granny Smith because they're the best for cooking. You'll need pie crusts. I use Pillsbury, you'll need two for a pie. You need cornstarch, you need some vanilla, you need cinnamon, you need lemon zest, I use fresh lemon zest. You'll need some melted butter and some sugar. The first step, wash your apples, cut them, take out all the seeds, and then cut them in small pieces. I'll be back when we have all of our apples cut. So now we have cut all of those apples into itty bitty pieces. Mm -mm. Now, Miss Michelle does not usually measure her ingredients. First step, take some melted butter. Pour it all the way around. And stir it up so that all those little pieces get lots of butter on it. Once it's all mixed up and every piece has some butter on it, we pour in our sugar. Again, some vanilla. Miss Michelle doesn't really measure. I like lots of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put my cinnamon in. The one thing I do like to measure is my cornstarch because I don't want too much. I know I need four tablespoons. One, two, three, and four. And then I need some lemon zest. Now, lemon zest is just the peel of the, the lemon. So we're just gonna See the little lemon coming off? Here we go. Not a lot. Just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. And mix it all up and I'll be back. Okay, so we are now ready. Everything is all mixed up in my bowl. I'm making two pies. So you wanna take your room temperature. Oh, there it goes. Room temperature pie crust 
and you're gonna lay it in the bottom of your pan like so and then I'll need one for my other pie like so and then we're gonna put the apples in the pie pan okay I have my pies stacked with lots of apples now it's time to put the top on so again your crust should be at room temperature so you can unroll it easily without ripping it and you're gonna first dip your fingers in some water and moisten the edge of the pie crust like so just a little bit not a lot and then lay your crust on top and then you're gonna use your thumbs and pinch it together all the way around your pie. All right, I'm gonna do both. We'll come back when we're ready for the next step. Okay, we are ready for our last step. Look at my beautiful uncooked pies. But we have to make them look just like an apple pie. So the first thing you do, again, you're gonna put just a little bit of water on top of your pie crust. You could use a little brush Miss Michelle uses her hands because I'm gonna eat it. All right, and then I put together a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of sugar and mixed it up, and now I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top, like so. Now, when I put it in the oven and all the heat gets stuck inside, I don't want it to explode. So I'm just gonna put a few fork holes in it so to let the heat escape. I'm gonna do the same with the other and put it in the oven and wait until you hear it go bubble, 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 and we'll see what happens. Did you have fun today? I sure did, learning all about different things in the fall. Be sure to visit our website at craftykidcreations.com for downloads of these activities and the materials and different kits about fall and dinosaurs, so many to choose from.